big red dot. When it's a little red square. Yeah, it's going. Gravy. Okay. Then you could add it. So tonight I'm making a picture. I'm here at the Old Church Cultural Center, the art school at Old Church in Demers, New Jersey. And I'm making a picture out of porcelain. This is probably about six pounds of porcelain clay. You can learn these techniques over at Peter's Valley. You take a class at Sussex Community College. The professor there would be Bruce Dater, who's the head of ceramics at Peter's Valley. I've gone up to Peter's Valley many times for summer workshops, and I will be going up there this summer for a workshop, and we will be firing the soda kiln. They have an onagama kiln, which is a large tunnel kiln based on a Japanese design. They have a multi-chamber kiln based on another Japanese design that was just recently rebuilt by Bruce and his team. And they have two gas kilns, and they have a salt kiln, and they have a small wood kiln. But what they have are literally world-class ceramic artists come to Beaters Valley every summer. This year and last are different because of the pandemic. But you can go there and take a class in ceramics. You can go to one of the other studios and study woodworking or blacksmithing or fiber arts or photography, jewelry making, painting, any number of different crafts. Out in the Leighton area by Dingman's Ferry. Right now I'm making the bottom of the picture very flat and very compressed and very even. My name is Michael Porfido. I'm a teacher here in Deverest. And I also teach in Rockland County. That's New York. And now I'm going to pull the wall up. You can see how the wall came up. And all I did was squeeze the clay between my hands. A little wide. What I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to bring the wall up so it's very even and obviously straight. After one more pull, bringing it vertical, I'm going to make a belly on it. This lower area is going to get nice and round and this area is going to have the lip where I'm going to put the spout. Remember, this is going to be a pitcher. I think it might be good for margaritas or sangria or your favorite soda. Non-alcoholic beverage. <laughs> well, you're high school kids. <laughs> All right, so.
Okay, it can get wider. I have to make it thin because when you fill it with the sangria or the drink, you can't make it so heavy that it's awkward to pick up. to make this look like a giant uh, piece of fruit, like a melon or something. So it's got a nice generous curve. Maybe a little bit more. That's crazy big. You need two hands to pick this up. Now, you don't need a lot of water, just a little bit of water. Bring this in. They might be right. I'm probably not going to be able to get it to hold its shape, but I'm going to create the spout and Hopefully, it's porcelain, so hopefully it'll hold its shape, and a lot of times you have to use a heat gun to help it hold its shape. This is not doing so bad. I don't want to disturb this area, because I like that curve, and I don't want to make this top too thin, but I'm trying to make the whole thing Polar than the rest of the lip. And even though it's ragged at the top, after I get it shaped and it stiffens up, maybe in a day or two, I'll just smooth that off. But because this is a picture that's going to be ha going to have ice cubes and a lot of obviously a lot of li a lot of uh, liquid in it, I need this opening to be very generous for this spout to be very big and generous. So I don't want to make just a tiny little dip in here. I'm going to go really wide. See how, it, when I let go of this, it'll come back a little bit. And I'm going to roll this. And then, Hopefully it'll hold its shape. Look 
look at it from the other side. You guys have already seen the other side. Not bad. It's a little high over here. But again, I'm not going to be too concerned about how perfect it is at this stage. But I'll put a handle here. Probably put my hand over here so well, <laughs> everything doesn't go rushing out of it. But I hope you enjoyed it. Please go up to Peter's Valley and visit when you can, when they have an open house. In May, perhaps they're not going to have an open house this year. But uh, maybe they'll do a virtual open house. We'll so be able to see each of the studios and all the different workshops. Thank you for your time. And I hope you guys have a great afternoon. Take care.